Hello, boys and girls. It's time for your weekly art lesson. I'm Miss Mary Beth, and I'm going to take you on a new adventure today. Let me get hooked up. Give me one moment. A day in the park. Today we're going to the park. It's nice because we all have parks in our neighborhoods. So here we have three friends at the park. They sure look like they're having fun, don't they? Let's see what they're gonna do. People love going to the park. They go there to be with family and friends. There's everyone playing together. Sometimes we gather at the park to enjoy a meal with our families. Have you ever eaten a meal at the park with your family before? This family looks like they're having a really good time. We get exercise at the park too. It's good for our bodies to run, play, and climb. Oh, look at these friends running together. It's a place where families can enjoy being together and learn new things. Oh, look at this family learning how to play baseball together. The mom and dad are teaching their kids. How sweet. Animals love the park too. Here are some squirrels playing with friends. The park is their home. <laughs> look at them go. Sometimes artists will create paintings inspired by spending time at the park. This piece is called Fun in the Park and was created by African-American painter Carlton Morell. These friends are all just hanging out at the park. Sometimes artists will paint murals in parks. A mural is a large outdoor painting. This mural is in Lincoln Park, El Paso, Texas. It was painted by several Latino artists from the community. This is a sculpture that kids can play on in Silver Towers Park in New York City. It was created by Tom Otherness. Doesn't that look like fun to play on? Look, you can slide down his legs. Some artists create paintings of their friends and families enjoying the day together in the park. This painting was created by French artist Alex Bossler. What a beautiful day. It is time to create. Let's draw a park together. All right, here's our paper. We are ready to roll. All you're going to need for your drawing is a pencil and a piece of paper. If you don't have a pencil, you could use a marker too, or a crayon, whatever you have at home. All right, our first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw a slightly curved line. That was easy. Now, up in the top of our paper, we are gonna start with one square or a rectangle. On top of that, let's add a triangle. These are our easy shapes. And inside, let's make one circle, two circles. Oh, my one circle is a little squishy. That's okay. Now you can see we have a little house here and let's put it up on legs. So I'm gonna draw one leg. I'm gonna draw another leg. We have a fun house here. And I think we're going to make another house next door. So let's this time make a 
rectangle. And up above our rectangle, let's make a flat line. Just a short one, not as big. And then we're gonna connect our top line down to the top of our rectangle. Ooh, look at that. And I think it might be nice in this one to do a rectangle window. And let's add a door. Now this house is gonna need some legs as well. We'll put one leg on this side. Let's put another leg on this side. You know, we need a way to get in. Let's put a ladder. So let's come to this doorway and put one line and another line. And we're gonna make some lines going across. We have a ladder. Look, we can get into our play structure. But how are we gonna get from here to here? Hmm, I have an idea. Let's make a bridge. Let's make one smiley face between them. And let's make another smiley face between them. And then let's make our bridge. Let's just draw lines connecting them. Now we can go from one side to the other. Yay! I think it'd be really fun to have a slide too. Hmm, where could we put a slide? I know, let's come over to here and let's go out and down to the ground. That was easy. And let's go up above it a little bit and go out and down again. And let's draw a squish circle at the bottom. And let's put some stripes on it. Now we have a tube or a slide to get out. Oh, this looks like fun. I want to play there. I think it'd be nice to have a tree next to our play structure. Trees are very easy. We can just make a big puffy shape or a circle if you want. I'm gonna make a tree. And then we're gonna just draw two lines coming down for a trunk. <laughs> that was easy. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. And if you wanted, you could add some apples, or fruit, cherries, whatever you like. Nice, look at that. We have a place to play at the park. We could even add a sun if you wanted to. You could add a circle up in the sky. My favorite kind of sun is to make triangles around my circle. You might have another way that you like to do it. Oh, we've got a sun, we have a place to play, and we have a tree. Hmm, I wonder what we could do next. I have an idea. Let's make a place to swing. To make a swing is very easy. We're gonna come down in this big spot over here and we're gonna just make a line going across. That was easy. And then we're gonna turn that into a rectangle. That was easy too. Now we wanna make a line going out on both sides. It needs to go out so there's room for swings. And then we're gonna draw in a little bit and turn that one into a rectangle so it is strong enough to hold us up. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw a line in and go up. 
now we have a perfect place to put some swings. To put swings, we make two lines going down side by side. Then we're going to add one smile. And then underneath it, we add another smile. There we go. We have one swing. Now let's add another swing. Let's put two lines down. We can add a smile. And we add another smile. Look at that. We've got a swing. That was easy. Okay, maybe we need to have a pathway. Let's come up by our play structure and make a line that curves over. There's our path. Then we're going to go really close to it over here. We're going to come in. It'll get a little fatter as it comes out. We've got a pathway now. Hmm. We still have room for one more thing to play on. How about a teeter totter? They're super easy. All you make first is a triangle. There's so many great shapes. And on top of our triangle, we are going to draw a line. And then we're going to draw a little bit up and a little bit up. And then we're going to make a line going across. Now we got to make the seats. We're going to make a smile here and a smile there. And then we're going to do little tiny rainbows for handles. Now at this point, you could add anything you want to this drawing. You might want to add you, maybe some friends, maybe a picnic, maybe a dog, maybe a squirrel. You can leave it as a black and white drawing with pencil. Or if you want to go and take some colors into it, you could take crayons or markers, anything that you've got. Oh, look, I even added a few flowers to mine. You could do that too. It's as easy as you want it to be, or you could make it a little bit harder. I've had a great time drawing with you today, and I hope you enjoyed learning about your neighborhood park. And I hope you get a chance to go and visit your park with your family and maybe play on the play structures there. All right, boys and girls, I will see you next week. It's good to see you. Bye-bye.